Right, so this is going to be a really quick video just on timers. Now, I already have another video up of, you know, the real-life timers, uh, plumbing them up and connecting them with the pneumatic tubes and actually doing a full demonstration on the boards uh, with the real components themselves. But this is just, again, to re-emphasize it, um, just the fluid sim setup of it also. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drop in my compressor and my air service unit, just for good measure. I'm going to use a single acting cylinder um, to demonstrate both types of pneumatic timer. And then we're going to bring in our timers. Now, there's the shorthand symbolism for it. So you see here we've got the shorthand uh, for one of our pneumatic timers. So that's the normally closed one. And then we have the normally open one. Okay. Now, if you also scroll down, you'll see a time delay normally closed and normally open. So you have a much larger kind of old school version of them. But I just go with the with the new nice and neat ones because it makes the diagrams nice and neat and nice and compact. Um, so this is what we're going for, these two here. Now, just the wording is a little bit important. So we've got normally open and normally closed. So remember, in pneumatics, it's, it means different or reverse to what you might be familiar with with electronics. Okay. So this is a normally closed valve, okay, normally closed, pneumatic timer normally closed, because the port, the output port is closed, there's no output. So the valve is closed, so no output is happening. This is normally opened, because the output port is opened, and air is flowing out, okay. So the valve is open, so air is able to flow through, and that's what it means. It's the reverse thinking to... Um, to electronics okay uh, essentially there's another wording if that wasn't confusing enough for these timers you've got an on delay timer and an off delay timer and I explain that a bit more within the within the symbols themselves so this is what our normally closed timer looks like uh, blue in the festo nice wee dial here and uh, that we can see what we're setting the value to and we've two ports that we need to connect port one and port two three is just a uh, exhaust one uh, with the normally open one, that's black symbolism, and we have three ports that we connect to, okay? And, and then that's excluding the, the exhaust one as well. If we want to set our timers, just double-click on them, and we'll set them to five seconds, okay? And then we'll connect them we'll connect them up nice and easy, okay? So two is our output, so let's go into our cylinder to give us the visual visual output. Out of that. Hopefully this will go away eventually. Thank you. And then pop that around. And what we're going to do, sorry, is we're also just going to use some switches just to show what's actually happening. Some manual manual switches. So I'm going to connect them in as well. Manual switch there, and a manual switch here. Right, so notice some of the setup. We've got extra, an extra port here that we need to connect up compared to what we have here. So now if we turn on air, look what happens. In one scenario, remember our valve is open, so the output is on. In the other scenario, our valve is closed, so the output isn't on. Now let's deal with um, this, this part just here, okay? So what we're going to do is, um, this is what's called a normally closed or an on delay timer so what happens is something comes on after a delay so you see if i push this push button we have a delay five seconds then something comes on the output comes on as opposed to an off delay timer so when something comes off after a delay so you see the output is on there is a delay and then the output goes off so you see the two of them are working in reverse um, this one you need to give it air supply so that I can you know go fully through and put the output on. And then your signal is just making sure that you hold that down so it gets air supply for the full five seconds. And then it will retract and it will stay. Now that valve will stay operated, the cylinder will stay retracted until we let go of that and then it goes back in the open setting. The same for this timer as well. I've got to hold that down 
it's got to get air supply the timer has to get air supply for the full five seconds and then it will operate the cylinder so normally closed normally open timer on delay timer off delay timer one of them will turn on the output after delay the other one will turn off the output after a delay so this one starts extended this one starts subtracted so hopefully that makes sense and uh, as i said watch the other video along with it and uh, with the real life components and you know get some practice in and you'll be fine